William was spotted dancing at the London nightclub, so some were furious when Rose and Kate shook hands with supporters at the Hoffen Hall Festival's fashionable tit for tat. Coco and the ancient mucker Catherine allegedly paid a special weekend visit to Hoffen Hall in June, just in time for the stately residences. Earlier this summer, at the annual Hoffen Festival, William was seen having a good time at a club in Camden. Coco with pals, including Pelly, a nightlife entrepreneur who has now brought his wife along for the ride. Princess Kate has been eating with Rose Hambury, the owner of the 1,000-acre estate in Norfolk, Pearls the Marquis, the marching ass of Chamundley, David Rock Savage, and others. One of the diners proposed to Catherine that she go to the festival after dinner, a source informed the Daily Mill. Catherine was hesitant about the proposal, but after lengthy conversation with the security guards, she decided to go with it. There wasn't William. Although Catherine is renowned for her love of dancing while performing music, it is unknown whether she has ever attended a festival. In 2008, Kate was seen going to a roller dance with pals, including jockey Wally Cohen. Notably, Rose Chimundley, a friend of Catherine's who went to the music festival with her after dinner, was the woman who Meghan Markle claimed had an affair with Prince William. No marching around a parking lot in a winter coat. The attractive Catherine won't be attending a make-believe Taylor Swift concert while her husband is overseas. Nope, she throws a symbolic bomb on the side in one stunning move. Exile from California who must be worried about losing out while gossip is rife about the extremely lovely woman traveling across Asia with Harry and who will give the horrible Meghan a lesson in fabricating false information about William and Catherine's marriage. Since that vile allegation, Catherine and Rose have socialized quite a bit. They are friendly with the entire family, including the Princess of Wales because they live next door to one another and Rose's husband has royal positions. Catherine fully comprehends and embodies this in every way. Never provide an excuse, never complain. The best kind of retaliation is a life well lived, one that is lived for one's own satisfaction rather than for the enjoyment of others. Rose and her husband presumably weren't too happy to be included in Meghan's charges of adultery. They must have relished their own refined rendition of the clap back, along with Catherine. What could hurt according to Megan Moore, the story detailed Catherine's conversations with the security guards to ensure that she could attend the event. Catherine is in desperate need of defense. It is rare for the palace to approve a story about this and give the material for it, but Megan needs someone to stand watch at the dentist while she has lunch with her agent. Catherine might have easily gone to the performance alone and no one would have known. One may hypothesize that they are deftly moving ahead of the allegations by predicting what Omid Scobie's last move would include, such as further information on the William Rose maid. Since Catherine and Rose are out together without William, which eliminates any silly statements about William wanting to see Rose still, even openly, with his wife right there, I prefer this piece since it plainly and completely dispels the allegation 